Hi everyone, welcome to Etoma 16. On our today's lesson, I'm going to explain how we are going to find the solution of this quality inequality. So, what kind of method you familiar to solve this quality inequality? In order to find the solution of the quality inequality, we can use three different methods to find the solution of this one. Is that now the first method is going to be factorization, and the second method is going to be that is the sign chart method, and the last will be the graphical method. Is that so? With either of these different techniques, we can find the solution of this problem in these different ways. Even we can use a completing the square method to find the solution of this inequality. So let me show you how we are going to find the solution of this inequality. Look, this is a very simple and interesting quality inequality. If you are a new member of my YouTube channel, again, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you want to succeed. Well, now let's come to how to solve this problem. So in order to find the solution of this problem, First, we need to find two numbers whose sum is exactly the coefficient of the middle term, that is negative 1, and the product is going to be, that is, 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12, is that? We need to find the sum of two numbers is negative 1, that is the coefficient of the middle term, and the product is negative 12, which is AC. And hence, the numbers are obviously negative 4 and 3. What will be the sum of this one? Now, the sum of this problem is immediately negative 1, and the product is going to be negative 12. And hence, this can be factorized as, this is written as x minus 4 into x plus 3. That is less than 0. So, since the coefficient of the living term is different from 1, so we need to divide this problem, this coefficient, for the number negative 4 and 3. And that will be x minus 4 over 4 is going to be 4 over 4 into x plus 3 over 4. That is less than 0. And hence, this is x minus 1 into x plus 3 over 4. That is less than 0. Is that? So, now, here, we can use a different technique to find the solution, as I told you. You can use a product rule, a completing, a completing, the square method, sign chart, or a graphical method. So, now, let me show you how to find a solution with the help of the sign chart method. Is that? So, look, now, for this, what are the zeros of this one in order? That's negative 3 over 4, and that is 1. You have to put in ascending order. And now we have this one, is that? So this will be the sign chart method. Then let's put at the very beginning that is x, x, that is plus 3 over 4, and the other is x minus 1. And finally, when this is 0, this is exactly 0 at this point, on the left of this, this is going to be negative, is that? This is going to be a negative value. So it is negative on the left of minus 3 over 4. And if you directly plug any real number on the right of this one, this is always positive, and you have to put just like this one. And finally, as you know, now this x minus 1 will be 0 at the point of 1. On the left of this, this is going to be negative. And on the right of 1, that will be positive. Because if you directly plug any real number, that's less than 1, for example, 0, 0 minus 1 is negative. So on the left of 1, this is going to be negative. If this is already negative, on the contrary, on the other side, on the right of 1, that's why that's going to be positive. And the result will be done. So finally, what the products of this one? The products of this mean x minus 1 and x plus 3 over 4 will be 1. So, negative times negative, that's going to be positive. Zero times any, that's zero. Positive times negative, that's going to be negative. Positive times zero, zero. And positive times positive will be positive. But, in order to find the solution of this inequality, you have to look where the inequality 
or the products of this is less than zero. When we say the products of this two cell is less than zero. So we need to find the interval on which the product is absolutely negative and hence this implies that the solution of this problem is immediately from negative 3 over 4 and to 1. That's going to be open interval, is that? Because you know why? It is open because this is strictly laser. And because of that, negative 3 over 4 and 1 will not be included in the solution, is that? It's because negative 3 over 4 and 1 make this expression 0, 0 neighbor less than 0, and hence it has to be open interval, so the solution will be this one. You may put this in this way, is that? And this can be put, just can be written as wood. Now, x says that x is in between what? Negative 3 over 4 less than x, x less than 1. You can put in the form of this one, is that? So, this is all about how we are going to find solution of this inequality. So, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how we are going to determine the solution of any, any, any algebraic inequality. Thank you for watching.